Okay, I guess their particular hangouts they set up so it will show up as a private video until it's more processed. I don't remember most of them showing up as private. It would just say this video is processing or this hangout is over. But, you know, whatever. Um, it's available now. and uh, But I'm still having problems with the internet when it comes to YouTube. I can go on every other site, but YouTube, I can't watch videos on. It just gives me the spinning thing forever. So I'll have to figure that out. So I'm playing this through VLC. So, Drunken Peasants is supposed to be funny. No, you don't get it's it. It's supposed to be pure entertainment. Yes. But it's also quite possible to be funny and still give context and nuance to scenarios. Comedians do this mm. all the time. Now granted, I'm not a fan of Drunken Peasants to begin with. I think it's one of the most juvenile, anti-intellectual, lowest common denominator things on YouTube. Thank you. Can we quote you? Uh, um, <laughs> I mean... I don't know, I mean... I would say it, it is kind of it is pretty lowbrow and juvenile and shit. But I mean, to say it's one of the dumbest things on YouTube, like least intellectual things on YouTube. Have you seen YouTube? I mean, like a lot of what's popular is like reaction videos or unboxing videos. Um, this is a reaction video, TJ. You're doing a reaction video right now. It's like I I took a product out of a box. Wow, I want to see that, right? Well, I mean, how is that any less intellectual than taking something that someone says completely out of context, completely misrepresenting what they say, completely strawmanning everything that they're saying? I mean, unboxing something is somehow less intellectual? I mean, it... it I guess it's not, I guess it could be considered less intellectual, but they're not pretending to be intellectuals. Eight million what, views. Yeah, what about pranking videos? Yeah, like, we're gonna, we're gonna scare the shit out of you some know what? people and fucking Shut up, like, oh. intellectual lightweights. Yeah. Go this ahead. guy, what's this guy's name? I think this is Kazumi. Kazumi, Kaz he's talking. <laughs> Kazumi, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's one of those parenting fucking videos again. Now, let me show you. How you should be funny on your comedy show. Like if I'm not telling anyone how they should be funny. People can find funny whatever the hell they want. It's just not my type of humor. I don't like it. It's not my thing. You've got the key to comedy. Why don't... I don't have the key to comedy. I don't pretend to be funny. You start a podcast, Kazume. And you can be intellectual and highbrow and hilarious at the same time. Uh, it's it's not my thing to act like I'm funny because I'm not. And if I was to do something that isn't very intellectual, then at least it's not going to be mean spirited. That's just not my thing. I've always found it odd how TJ can say such thought provoking things on one side and get people to laugh while actually learning something and then turn around and put out puerile garbage like the drunken peasants. Oh, wow. To each their own. But it makes money and it's popular, so can I call it pitiful? Well, you know, he's making money, so... But let's go the back to... Time to, to make some money. Uh, time to make some money. Time to make some money on the drunken peasants podcast. A uh, bitter party of one. I might be a little bitter. I won't deny that. It, it, it disgusts me how people can make money from being mean to people. How people can make money by basically acting like the schoolyard bullies in elementary school. Yeah, I, it, it does uh, it does irritate me. I, I, I'll fully admit that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, he's making money. Actually, I was in a hangout with Kazumi and, it, and he was cool. But I, I appreciate uh, you saying that. Uh, he thinks yeah, your show is trash, I've dude. Been yeah, I was on the Pimp Monk show with him a few months back, and he never said anything nasty or mean to me about the drunken peasants, and that's probably where he knows me from. Yeah, I, I don't know you from... I mean, I think I've... I, I don't normally watch the drunken peasants. The only reason why I watch this one is because someone is saying, hey, they're, they're critiquing your video on drunken peasants right now. And I was in the middle of my set in Second Life and, uh, you know, wanted to check it out at the times that I could. But, uh, 
you know, none of you are assholes outside of this show that you guys do. None of you are assholes outside of it. This show, you guys just are assholes. And you don't... I mean, yeah, I, I guess being assholes is funny to people, and that's fine. That's the kind of humor they like. That's the kind of humor you like. I have my opinions of it. My opinions are irrelevant as to whether you should continue doing the kind of humor you do and like and get money from. It's none of my fucking business. I just am stating my personal subjective opinion. Um, so I don't know where all this vitriol is coming from all he of a sudden. It. Well, because I just, I think the show is lame. That's my personal subjective opinion. I mean, uh, does he hate you guys? Well, what can I say? They are making money the after all. <laughs> it's one of those, like... You know, I heard the guy on the bottom right, I think it was him that was talking, saying, well, do, do you hate them as individuals? No, I don't. Not at all. When I've been in hangouts, uh, you know, that separate hangouts, I've enjoyed the time. Hurt, someone is but hurt. You are. I was butt hurt by this video a bit, yes. So butt well, hurt. when you sit around naked all the time, you know, of course your butt's gonna get injured eventually. Yeah. <laughs> JWs yes. and Black Lives Matter. He doesn't seem to want to know really anything about the concept of social justice itself, just what these crazy SJWs are pushing out. Granted, the way that S He doesn't want to know anything about them except for their propaganda and everything they say and do. See, you completely you 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 bypassed what I actually said. You I I said that you don't seem to want to focus on social justice itself. Everything is focused on what the batshit crazy people are saying. And yes, we all know that these people are batshit crazy. We know this. We know this. Yeah, because when you, what? Because when you refute the points, you just don't know anything about it. <sighs> you know, you just you just try to focus on you know the things that they do and say, and the propaganda they put on the internet, and the things they you know their agenda and stuff. But you don't really get to know them. Yeah, that's not what I was saying, but it's. Funny, it's supposed to be funny, so ha ha funny, ha 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 ha. Sorry. I, I just uh, take I don't, exception I don't know, and like, I don't know what the standard like is here. This fatherly tone. The standard here is um, if I'm dealing with your channel and not drunken peasants, I just would hope that you would speak, talk more about the positive things about what social justice could be or promoting an actual social justice instead of this batshit crazy these people are saying that people are taking now it's just like you know i i just can't see how it's it's like the year like 2016 is the year of lost respect man man tj can be really insightful and funny on his channel but he just puts out this pure dreck and i wonder if i can talk to him like I'm his dad and let him know why he shouldn't be I hate I didn't do this video to TJ I didn't even think he'd watch it I just was stating my opinion putting a vlog out there I wasn't expecting him to watch it I'm not speaking to him about it I'm just speaking the patterns that I see I hate this shit like why would you bother doing this because I'm making a vlog I'm ranting like a lot of people do on here on YouTube. Paul? Like if the drunken peasants is puerile dreck, the bottom of the barrel of the U of YouTube, what are you doing watching it in the first place? I don't watch it. I don't watch it. I don't watch this show. You know? I had to have someone point out uh, that, uh, the, you know, where to... F they said, oh, look for the podcast of it. Maybe you can get a... A copy of this video that way since you can't seem to watch it on YouTube you know um, I I don't know shit very much about it I've I, I the last time I tried to watch it it was some video about uh, there was someone talking about how they don't like Febreze because the, there could be the chemicals that are in it could cause some problems 
and TJ decided to just look on the side of the container and look up the, the generic way that they list them instead of the full list of the ingredients. He didn't do any research. He didn't do anything on it. it lists, let's just make fun of this person. And for me, the chemicals that are in a lot of products that that are like that, I I have a thing. I it's One of my buttons is artificial scents. I think we are... This society is addicted to them. I think it's a bad thing. It's my personal beef. It's my personal thing. And when he showed that um, the extent that he would even look into the subject is what he did on Drunken Peasants, it's just like, you know, you know I tried watching one before that, and I, I saw some of the same kind of patterns, but when I saw that, my, my, pet, my pet issue and it was handled like that, I was like, well, this isn't something I'm going to watch. Let alone commentating <clears throat> on it. Don't you have higher fucking thinking to do? The, uh, uh, my video wasn't fully about drunken peasants. I only mentioned it a couple times. My main thing was what he didn't mention in his video. He, also, he didn't, he, I mean, he's talking about people who don't look at nuance, who don't look at context, and yet he won't mention his own show where he takes everything out of context and there's no nuance, I think that's a hypocritical thing. He should have mentioned drunken peasants in his video, saying, well, I, well you know, hey, I, I, I got some things that I do to myself, you know. That's all this was about. Zume, don't you have a fucking intellectual ivory tower to be sitting on top of with your shirt off? The, uh, the With the shirt off is the only thing I found funny with that. Everything else is just like, um, oh, how dare you mention anything that isn't what you guys find important. <laughs> Paul, you're getting a little carried away, man. Getting a little Sorry, carried away, simmer, Paul. Simmer down, Paul. Simmer down. Simmer well, I mean, I, I what I think is kind of funny about it, the thing that the only thing that I got a, a bit of a laugh out of is the part that they're telling him that he needs to calm down. <laughs> JW's act on a lot a of these internet platforms. Come on, put a hand on your shoulder and let on. you know, son. You're Come acting on. like a spaz. We need to get the nuance of his. Yeah. All right, yeah, the video. nuance. Is so shut important. the fuck up. I apologize. All right, Apologies. All right, all right, all right. They're quite a negative force, but the concept of social justice is not a flawed one. The concept of social justice is one that has driven much of the progress we've made since the 1950s. Do we want to turn back time? Do we want to stop any sort of progress? Oh wow, a share reference. There is prejudice, there is dis Yes, it was a lame joke. It was really lame. It was a groaner. Discrimination, there is an assumption that black people are going to be so, more violent. It's a total there straw is an man. assumption that black people- Straw man? I'm not straw manning anything. How can you call that a straw man? I'm talking about society. I'm talking about how there are a lot of people who make these assumptions about black people. It's a problem in our society. I'm not straw manning shit. People are going to have a criminal mindset. And when police don't treat black people in any way, they say- What do you mean there is an assumption? Like what? That's such a, a passive statement. There is an assumption. Like where is it? in society okay people that think the same way as atheism is unstoppable people that think the same way as live life um go to any comment section of, on some sort of a, a, a racist video on youtube and you'll see just tons of this shit so it has to do with society like no certain people have that assumption other people don't well, he's, al he's also assuming Yes, but the people that do have that assumption are the ones that are causing the problem. I mean, because you're anti-SJW, that you, you're against any concept of equality or any, or like, you know, there's, you're even, you know, critiquing or commenting about the system that we, we live in. You're just like, oh, no, because I don't support, support these people. I'm just totally against it. All right, yeah. That's not what I was saying. You're strawmanning my position. You're completely strawmanning my position. I'll support a social justice cause that actually makes sense, like, you know, the private prison system is pretty fucked up, we need to correct that or something. 
that, you know, if you talked about that kind of thing more, I would, you know, I would think a little differently. This, this drunken peasants video here, uh, you're me already mentioning a magnitude more things than you usually talk about. Usually it's just saying bad things about the batshit crazy people. You know, it, it makes, what, what this ends up building is, okay, hate builds on hate builds on hate. When, when all that you do is, is, is say all this negative stuff about any, uh, anyone's attempts to do social justice, um, and you don't mention the people that are trying to do something good, And where do, what does it leave people when when they're watching and they look at you as a role model? Where does that leave? What where does that leave people? It leaves people with hating anything that has to do with social justice. You, they hear those words social justice, and they 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 just put up a wall immediately because they are associating it with these batshit crazy social justice warriors. But when it's like, there was tits in a video game and I felt uncomfortable. It's like, I don't care if you felt uncomfortable. Fuck you. Well, that's fine. And you've made hundreds of videos about that. And not many that I can think of that you talk about real social justice. That's not a social justice cause. Same as other races. <laughs> You know, I, I'll agree with you on that. That isn't a real social justice cause. It's bullshit. Yes. But why is that the only thing we can fucking talk about? There's a problem. Now, granted, I have no room to talk here. For quite a while, I spoke negatively about Black Lives Matter as well, but I eventually got past that to see what the roots of the movement are actually about. You get a black I'm hoping that TJ will start to look at the roots of what social justice is about. No, I don't have a black boyfriend or something. I just looked more into the issue. I researched. I talked with people. I was in hangouts. I had a lot of conversations. I had... I went on forums. You know, I did a lot of stuff on this. I wanted to get to the bottom of this. And what the roots of Black Lives Matter uh, is how, all how about do you know as he hasn't? well. How do you know he if hasn't? If we are to judge those speaking against because because if I father, had, I would have come Scotty. to the same conclusions he has, Scotty. That's a groaner and a roll eyes, but I guess it would get a laugh out of some people, so. Yeah, well, Kazume is his dad. You know, he knows his son hasn't looked into social justice, and he just wants to make sure that TJ knows that he should before he commentates on it constantly. That he should really kind of look into what social justice is. I just want to it's a point good out. Tip. There is some truth to what was just said there. It's not a father type of thing. Um, but again, this wasn't something I was even expecting TJ to watch. It was just my commentary to my viewers. You know, if I was saying, talking to him personally, it would, it would definitely be a different type of conversation. Um, but unfortunately, TJ doesn't address anyone anymore. He doesn't do any video responses. He doesn't address anything that anyone else has put out there except through this Drunken Peasants channel, which is all about not actually addressing people's issues. It's, it's mockery. It's, well, it's all in humor. Okay, fine. That, you know, we have a pretty massive live audience right now, but they're all the lowest common denominator. Yes. You're no, they're not. Just because I personally don't like that type of humor is not a judgment on those that do. People could like the pranking type of humor. Does that make them pathetic people? No. I just personally don't like that type of humor. I don't like the type of humor where you will straw man what people are saying to, you know, I, that's just not my thing. Um, if it is some people's thing, that's fine. Better for them. 
You know, you're offering people a lot of content in that regard. More power to you. They're all according, scum. According they're, to Kazoom. They're worse than us because we're doing the show. They're watching the show. Oh, man. They're consuming this terrible content. Every this last stinking goddamn motherfucking one of you it is says a low 4,603. Congratulations. Trump right people. Yeah. Each and every one of you is Kazumi, scum. Kazumi looks at all of you with contempt. Check your privilege, people. Check your well, fucking privilege. I'll tell you, that share reference he made sure was a uh, good example of that type of highbrow humor we could be doing, fellas. <laughs> we need to step our, our step our game up, get on Kazumi's level. Oh, I don't know, Paul. <laughs> it was a groaner, man. It was a groaner. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a tall order. Do we, do we turn back time? Picture a share. <laughs> oh, you sly dog, Kazumi. You got a belly laugh out of me with that oh, one. Oh, man, yeah, that's classic. Oh, Against you. SJWs and Black Lives Matter, the same way we're judging SJWs and Black Lives Matter, we would be having a much longer discussion than we've been. Many people seem to be speaking against any further possible progress we could make when it comes to social issues. Many are basically being a bunch of traditionalists. They're drawing a line saying, No, we don't want to move forward any more than we have. It's Everything is man. fine. No, it, it's not a straw man. This is, this is the position that a lot of people are taking. Okay, this is common. When, you can, when people are saying nothing about how we can move forward and everything about what's wrong with the way other people want to move forward. What is that saying? If you're not offering an alternative, then what the fuck are you doing? Okay. I've never heard anyone say that. I've never Who heard anyone fuck? say anything like this. I've never even met... Yeah, like, we live in the most dis perpetually dissatisfied country ever. There's literally no one you can find who's just like, let's just keep everything as it is. Yes, you do find people like that. There are plenty of neophobes out there. They're all over the fucking place, and they're, they're very common on YouTube. They're very common on social media. They're very common. And it's because we've got these people, these batshit crazy people, saying to shoving forth these ridiculous ideas on one side, then you have the people that are fighting against it, and the people fighting against it don't bother to push forth their own deep good ideas. They're not doing it. And it and it it creates a scenario where nobody wants to push forth any change. They may not say these words directly in that way, okay? But that is what is being pushed forth. But again, you're not trying to look at what I'm saying because this is a comedy show. It's comedy. So I don't have to listen to what anyone's saying, when anyone's actually saying, or even make any attempts at anything. Like, everyone's got some sort of agenda for what they want the fucking future to be. I mean, it's... When what is yours? What do you think would, would make the... What do you think would improve things? You, you talked briefly for a moment about these prisons for profit. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap. And, and that, that situation of prisons for profit is a bunch of crap. It's a, good, it's a good start to, you know, as far as trying to talk about things that could make things better. It's funny to say, it's like, it, he's active as if we're saying there's no merit in social justice at all. There's no merit in anything Black Lives Matter's ever said at all. It's like, no one said that. You may not have said it directly, but by not, it's a lot of, and a lot of what people get out of a message is what is not said. It's what is not said. When the only thing you talk about is this, and this is never mentioned, what are people going to, to get out of that? What is the message people are going to get out of it? Well, what he's telling us is, is that because TJ and, and uh, to a great extent the rest of us don't support a future, we don't support a future that's run by people who are offended by a nipple in a video game or, a, or, or that think that they're a sparkling sky dragon in another life or some shit because we don't want that future we must be advocating for the status quo, right? 
no, that's not my argument. It's not my argument. More straw manning. Um, because everything's that black and white, cut and dried. No, it isn't. There's nuance to things. And no matter how much people try to talk about nuance, this show won't look at any of it. And this show is the only thing that you do anymore to address any concerns from any videos from anyone. Right? Yes, it is. Of course. Everything is perfect. Everything's we don't perfect. want to see any yeah. more change. Yeah, I, I'm Leave loving everything your straw man. as it is. There is. It's not a straw man. It's not. And when you look at these, the lot of the stuff that that. Okay, look at all the people that say that there is literally nothing left for, let's say, feminism to do. Or people that are saying that there's literally nothing left for Black Lives Matter to do. Or literally nothing left, literally nothing left for uh, gay rights. That social attitude, it's, it's like, that the element of social attitudes doesn't really come any, anywhere into the picture. There's a lot of people saying this stuff. Pretending that it doesn't exist. That's no better than these, than these Christians that say, oh, I'm a good Christian, and then they deny, they'll, they'll try to, to uh, uh, reduce the, uh, the significance of the Christians who are like Westboro Baptist Church, you know? There's always room for improvement, even if we mostly have what we want. Yeah, refute that straw man. A movie man. could always be better. Kick its ass. A song could always be better. I mean, a game when could Paul always said be it, better. it's just more and more. A government could always be better. We as people could always be better. Not me. Individuals could Individual always Individual situations. Oh, be shit. Better. And as soon as we act like we're perfect the way we are, then we might as well be wearing this shirt. Yeah. Okay. I want that shirt, actually. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so, any last thoughts on that? No. It's, it's idiotic. No. It's really dumb, and the argument sucks. All right. Um. Yeah. If that's how you feel about it, then, you know. Uh, but we'll never really know how you feel about it, because, well, this is a comedy show. But it's serious. But it's comedy. But it's serious. But it's comedy. It's very convenient for you. So, have a nice day.